If you saw the thumbnail of the video, of course it'll charge it. It might just take a year. <laughs> anyway, today we're taking a look at this smaller 5 watt, 12 volt polysilicon solar panel battery charger. And I'm going to give you some ideas for what you may want a smaller panel for. Alright everybody, welcome back. So this is something else. I actually picked this up for a specific purpose. And that purpose is going to be to top off my scooter's battery when not in use, which unfortunately has been a lot because I still have to wait to get it registered. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. It's going to just maintain the battery. It's such a low voltage and a low charge that I'm really not concerned about it possibly overloading the battery at all. And also, I'm going to be tossing it in the window that I have over this way and just letting it sit in the window and kind of just trickling in like a trickle charger a little bit of juice during the day. Um, we don't have a lot of sun on that side of the house behind this wall here uh, too long because the sun comes over and then it's kind of facing this way towards the end of the day. So it'll probably pick up just enough to trickle charge the battery to keep it topped off. I did that previously with one of those, when I first moved here in 2003, I had a 125cc scooter um, and it was an actual Yamaha scooter. Uh, I sold it because it was just not something I was interested in at the time. And um, I used that. I used one of those panels. You know, you buy them in the auto parts store. They're kind of the rectangular 12-volt panels that they say, stick on your dash and keep your battery charged. I put it in the window. It never overcharged the battery. So that's my goal for this. And, of course, I will have to change the uh, interface on that. Or maybe I'll just plug up a little 5.5-millimeter 5 uh, plug into the battery and just have it plugged in and out when I'm not driving it, stick it under the carpet there. Anyway, this is the panel, and there are tons of uses for it. Aside from my use, you can do low-power appliances, emergency lights, even advertising lights, traffic lights, household lights, little electric fans, uh, surveillance cameras, solar-powered lights outside. Um, I do have a panel about this size that, panels, uh, that powers and charges a light. Again, that panel is just in the window. It's been powering this light for about three years now. I don't know when I did the review on it. I will pick you up to show you what that looks like. So there's the little guy there. I think I did a review on him about three years ago. That's the Light Me. And this has a USB connector on it. But it just runs down into that thing. You see where it's running down. And it goes into the window there. And I just have it on the other side of this blackout curtain. A little panel just propped up in the window. It works great. It's charged that forever and it's ready to go in an emergency. I know it's working because on occasion when the battery gets low, I'll see this little blue light here blinking. There's a little blue light LED in there. So I know it's working and I know it's topped off. So anyway, that's one use for it. Let me get you back on the table. So let me give you the stats on this. And then we actually are going to use that um, power bank, the power station from Rock Pals to see what kind of power it can pull in. Um, in direct sunlight, I've gotten it up to about 14 and a half to 15 volts uh, for a little 12 volt panel, so that's not that bad. The power is, of course, five watts. It's a class A polysilicon solar panel. Working current is anywhere from zero to 166 milliamps. Short circuit current is 220 milliamps. Working voltage, of course, 12 volts. Open circuit voltage, 13.5. The size on this. 5.5 inches by 5.1 inches by 0.8 inches thick. Your DC interface, as I said, is the 5.5 uh, millimeter connector. These are pretty standard right now. Uh, and it comes with 9.8 feet of cord. It is in a pre-molded little panel here. The panel is actually glass. That's actually glass. The outside here is plastic. I would be kind of careful about... Um, Letting it get too hot, but, you know, it shouldn't be too bad. It's, you know, it's fairly decent plastic. It does have little legs that stand up. We will be using those to prop it up outside. And we're going to go and give it a try. So what I'm going to do is stick the panel outside on the side of my house there and put the rock pals over on my table where my solar stuff is. And we're going to see what kind of power this can pull in. All right, so as you can tell, this is not even registering one watt on here. However, it is a smaller panel and it's not an optimal sun. But you see, the battery is moving up and down, so it's getting something in there. But like I said in the open, yeah, it'll charge it. It might take a year, but it'll charge it. So yeah, you don't want to use this for something big as this. Uh, what we're going to do next is I'm going to get my meter out. I'm going to show you how many volts I'm getting off the panel. It is just sitting. I'm going to pull you out there in a sec here. Back up a little bit, pull you outside, and I'll show you where it's sitting. So you see where it's sitting. It's just sitting there in that little plant. Um, again, not an optimal sun, but I doubt it would even pull in a watt on... Uh, on um, 
on the sun that we have right now. It's kind of about 9.30 in the morning, and uh, it's just coming up. And again, I'm not in the best place for it. So, But you see, it does charge it. It just charges it very, very slowly. So let's get it back inside, and we're going to measure the uh, voltage on it. All right, sorry for the darkness over here. I just unplugged it from the, the Rock Pals. You see I have it just connected here with the positive on the inside and the negative touching the outside. On my meter, that's showing me 13.61 volts. Not horrible for a panel that's rated about 14 or 13 something. I forgot what it said, 13.5. All in all, not bad. Just a very small power source. Again, not something you'd want for a full-size power station. But if you had an 18650 to charge up in a portable uh, light, like my light I showed you over there, a very, very good practical solution. And it's also going to work great for using my scooter, which is right behind here, and keeping the battery topped off. So it's a very handy thing, very inexpensive, easy to use. Just plug it in and it works. Now, let's get it back on the table and we'll finish up. All right, so we're back inside. Now, why would I reuse something so small? You would think you'd want the biggest panel possible, right? Well, honestly, I think sometimes we as preppers tend to forget the smaller things that need to be done, like maybe topping off your motorcycle battery or your bug-out vehicle's battery. Or topping off that emergency light or even a better solar light source for outside. You know, something as simple as this can do that. And the price is right on the money. I believe it's $12.99, 13 bucks. You really can't get a better, better deal on a tiny little solar panel. Uh, and it actually does work well. It is well constructed. The panel is actually glass. It's not um, some kind of plastic that's going to yellow on you after it's been outside for a month. So I'm kind of happy with my purchase. I'm glad I made it. Going to use it up, going to use it and set it up, and I'll show you once I get it set up what I'm going to do with the, uh, with the scooter to keep it trickle charged. Really all I want to do is just be able to have this sitting in the window over there where I showed you before, hanging out in the window and letting this run in. And I may put a little female 5.5 millimeter connector over on the scooter, just under the, the foot pad there, and uh, just plug it in when I need to let it sit and keep the battery topped off because during the winter I probably won't be riding it as much as during the summer. Anyway folks, that's the panel. The link's down below. It is on Banggood. Um, I have been having a field day with their cool little electronic gadgets over there. I've been buying stuff that isn't appropriate for the channel. You know, it's not, it's not survival related. It's just fun electronics. And I've had really good luck with the gear they sent me and uh, just really been enjoying it. And that's where I've been buying a lot of the stuff to review. And uh, shipping is not horrible. You know, if you've ever bought from AliExpress or Wish, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going to buy that, and about nine months later, it'll get here. The shipping has been pretty good. They do have American warehouses, so all in all, I've been really pleased with them. So check them out. The link will be down below for this. If you need a smaller panel, that's a pretty darn good one. Um, it's not plastic. That's the biggest thing right off the bat. I've had so many of these that are plastic on the front here, and they'll either melt or get yellowed or be useless within a month, so definitely a cool little deal. So the link will be down below. Don't forget to check out all our other links. We have our Amazon store down there with other gear that we've reviewed. We have our freeze-dried wholesalers link. That link will save you 15%. If you're interested in getting stocked up on some emergency food, and it's also easily packable too because it comes in the Mylar bags, you can't beat them. And they have everything. I mean, you think of it, they have it. We're going to be testing some freeze-dried cheeseburgers, okay? They've got everything. So definitely check them out. See what they can do for you. You'll save 15% on your order. Um, they have everything from filet mignon to veggies to everything. So check them out. We have our My Patriot Supply down below. That's preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. Loads of different storage food options on that site. And we also have our Thrive Life freeze-dried store, which is the Thrive Life link. And then my name, Iridium242, slash Iridium242. So don't forget to check all those out, folks. I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.